the most energy efficient cruise ship ever built. The case was that why do we need the huge electrical motor inside the vessel? Why can't we put it under the water and connect the steering to that? To the world's most complex offshore vessels. It was uh, originally an absurd idea. Operating in the toughest conditions on the planet. They were swinging the vessels, dancing through the ice. All have one thing in common, Azipod propulsion. This is where the Azipod propulsion revolution started 25 years ago. On a wintry day in Helsinki, the first ever unit was fitted on board Seili. Seili, it was a smaller size, but you have to start with small to, de to detect the vessels. It was a waterfront survey vessel. And that has been the start point for the Azipod product. And then when the benefits uh, came clear, it also expanded to the cruise liners and other vessel types. Azipod propulsion has become essential for the modern cruise ship since it entered the market on carnival elation. As opposed to traditional bulky solutions, the motor is submerged in a pod outside the hull, allowing cruise liners to fit more passengers on board. Also, the ability of Azipod thrusters to turn 360 degrees increases maneuverability, allowing ships to reach new destinations. I would say that our Azipod ships today for their size are certainly the most maneuverable ships on the planet. We have operators, for the most part, driving these ships unaided, um, in and out of port, much quicker times because of the maneuverability of these ships. Azipod propulsion has also gained a foothold in the offshore sector. Its fuel efficiency, reliability, and ability to achieve millimeter precision makes it a favored solution for specialized vessels. We have had very good operational experience with uh, these uh, acipods and also on uh, both on operation and also on maintenance cost. So we have had them for in service for uh, 12 years without any major overhaul and that I think that is also unique uh, when we see these type of propulsion units. Electrical motors have a long history in the ice-breaking industry, and the Azipod has built on this tradition, powering some of the world's most complex ice-class vessels. And when you think about electrical motor, it has this continuous effort of trying to give the torque to the vessel. When we are then combining this with a thruster, which you can move simultaneously, they were swinging the vessels, dancing through the ice. Innovation goes to the core of why the Azipod propulsion exists. In 1995, development started on a compact Azipod thruster. With production of these smaller units later switched to China, numerous models have followed since, and the innovation continues. We have been front runners already 25 years with our Azipod products, and only way to keep that position is to keep up innovation. Collectively, Azipod units have racked up 12 million running hours over the last 25 years with availability of 99.8%. Over that time, 5,000 megawatts have been installed, and thanks to its energy efficiency, 700,000 tons of fuel have been saved. In its silver anniversary year, Azipod propulsion continues to power the most complex vessels on the seas. Work is underway on ABB's pioneering cable layer. 2016 saw the completion of the most powerful LNG carrier, and Azipod units are installed on the 168,000 ton Ovation of the Seas, the most modern cruise ship in the world. In just quarter of a century, Azipod propulsion brought a new level of flexibility and efficiency to the maritime industry.